Hello students, so in this lecture I will be talking about uh, band gap engineering. So I will discuss mainly uh, two devices based upon band gap engineering. The first one is called uh, graded gap bipolar transistor and the second one is called an avalanche diode In the first case, which is a, a graded cap transistor, bipolar transistor BPT, uh, what happens is that in, in conventional transistors, where you have we have the base, you have the emitter, and you have the collector. Now the Uh, current, in, current injected in the base actually controls the uh, flow of electron from emitter to collector. So, current in the base will flow the will control the flow of electron flow from emitter to collector and. Uh, whatever electron flow takes place is through diffusion inside the base diffusion in the base is actually responsible for the electron flow um, the base in conventional transistor has got a uniform band gap so there is no electric field practically so whatever electron flow takes place that is through diffusion only now this uh, property or the to increase electron flow efficiency what can be done is to vary the composition of the base so if we could vary the composition so there will be a gradient compositional gradient in the base uh, which will cause uh, an electric field to get generated inside the base and this electric field will enhance this electron flow. This is the basic concept of a graded cap bipolar transistor. The second one uh, which is known as uh, avalanche photodiode The role of a photodiode is to convert light photon into electrons and hole and they act as uh, charge carriers and they are responsible for the current so from light energy to electrical signal. Now this property of this photodiode can be enhanced if we used uh, something called a multi walled quantum structure that means if we could edit the composition and make the band gap look something like this conduction band this is the valence band this is a multi wall quantum structure and uh, when an electric field is applied to so the strength of the electric field will cause the whole this is basically a super lattice by composition or the doping super lattice by doing that electric field strength will cause the whole super lattice band structure to tilt that is why a tilt has been shown here so whenever a photon is coming it is creating uh, electrons and holes here mm, and uh, these electrons are created they will get energized they will get energized uh, from 
the difference or the difference in the levels is delta EC and uh, so this will create so you, from delta EC it will create more carriers so this will be a, a cumulative process and so there will be an avalanche of uh, uh, electrons or charge carriers that is where the name avalanche has been given so these are the two uh, devices based upon band gap engineering.